Good day, fishing fans in the Northeast United States. We have uh, sea surface temperature and ocean color updates of the ocean conditions offshore. Today is Tuesday, September 10th. So we have data from the last couple of days and it, actually it's really cleared off over the last two or three days. And I think there's gonna be a nice week or two here with windows of decent weather where you can get offshore ways if needed. Uh, what we notice in the sea surface temperature imagery, you're looking at the warmer water, oranges, yellows, and, and reds, cooler water, greens, and blues. Gulf Stream is still at 83, 84 degrees. We have the water is starting to cool inshore as we're, you know, there's that, there's that cool night, those, those cool nights with a hint of fall in the air. So some of the water is cooling inshore, but still, we're still in the mid to upper 60s and upper 60 to 70 degrees inshore off of New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and still plenty of options off of North Carolina and Virginia, of course. Gulf Stream kind of straight right now. A um, few Gulf Stream eddies here coming up. But what we really notice is a lot of dynamics in the areas over the canyons. We have a lot going on, lots of eddies. There is a counterclockwise eddy in this area. Um, we have a clockwise eddy in off of Hudson and Toms, another one down here. There's some flow moving in from the northeast. It looks really good between Hudson and Toms right now. I haven't had a lot of great reports in this water, but there's definitely tuna and probably a few marlin in there. You got a clockwise eddy off of Wilmington, uh, clockwise eddy between Wilmington and Baltimore. But really what we're looking at down south is these nice edges between Washington and Norfolk Canyon. There's a clockwise eddy in this area. There's a counterclockwise eddy down between Washington and Norfolk. But this water, it, oh, another counterclockwise uh, just south of Baltimore. But there's a, some decent water. This water is 75, 76, 77 degrees. And a lot of white marlin still associated with this water off of Washington, down off of Norfolk. And down into toward the uh, Cape Hatteras, a couple of few filaments down here that are promising north of the point. So still lots of fishing available in some decent conditions. We have, you know, a nice pulse of greener, cooler water, but if you can get offshore a ways, and there's still some tuna in this water inshore, even bluefin now on these some of these stronger water mass boundaries inshore. In fact, uh, I know a lot of people have been fishing for bluefin off of Long Island, Nantucket, uh, Massachusetts, even Cape Cod. There's some nice boundaries here for bluefin tuna inshore when weather doesn't allow you to get further offshore. But look at, let's focus a little bit further east on these eastern canyons. Look at all these strong water mass boundaries. This water is still 75, 76, 77 degrees and good for tuna, wahoo, marlin, mahi still. And then inshore, these cooler water, this is like 65 to 70 degrees still. Good for tuna inshore, 40, 50 fathoms. Um, there, you know, there's a bunch of eddies associated off of Atlant in the Atlantis Canyon area um, uh, between fishtails kind of block canyon area and when you get further offshore or further east this is the this is the big feature we're looking at and tracking this count this clockwise gulf stream warm core eddy that continues to slowly push to the west with the gulf stream further offshore this should be possible over the next month or two and really provide decent Fishing, now that water's in Oceanographer, Hydrographer Canyon, into Beach, 
This is six, 76, 77, even up to 78 degree water still. So if you can get offshore off of Massachusetts with the weather permits, there's some really nice, decent boundaries all the way inshore, 40, 50 fathoms in areas. Um, I know the white marlin action has been really, really good a couple weeks ago in the um, Ladonia Oceanographer Canyon area. So when weather permits, there's still some decent conditions out here to fish. So stay tuned to Ross. We're getting into mid-September and weather becomes more an issue. Um, people start to focus more on tunas and, and swordfish perhaps, but there's still some marlin around. There's definitely some wahoo and mahi around, especially out east. Look at all this warmer water over the canyon still out east. So let's look at the ocean color chlorophyll data. The ocean color chlorophyll data doesn't necessarily as important now when we get into September, October months because more temperature, temperature becomes more important. But look at a plenty of blue water from hydrographer, Atlantis, fishtails, this little, this little uh, large filament of warmer blue water between Hudson and Tom's looks good. And even some blended blue, bluer water, Washington, east of poor man's. Norfolk Canyon, this looks still pretty good here for Marlin. Nice strong Gulf Stream edge down here off the point right now. You can see these eddies way offshore. They're pretty, pretty neat looking. But look at this, look at this clockwise rotating Gulf Stream fill or Gulf Stream warm core ring and the green water wrapping around it. But it's blue, it's blue in the center. And it's blended blue all the way in shore, 40, 50 fathoms for some decent, decent boundaries and decent areas to fish still, especially for tuna and marlin for probably the next couple of weeks, I would think. And then things start to die off for the marlin. They start that full moon in late sep in September, early October, usually senses, uh, gives the, the fish, the marlin, the, the sense of, all right, we got to head south and start feeding. But that's when they bunch up, and that's when fishing can be good along some of these warmer water edges and blue water. So stay tuned to Ross, and when weather permits, there's still some lots of chances for good fishing conditions offshore and even inshore a ways into the late September. Look at the blended blue to blue-green water inshore here off of Delaware and Maryland. This is still decent for uh, for some fishing action. So stay tuned to Ross. We will keep you posted. Come back probably with our last Northeast overall conditions in a couple of weeks um, based on demand. So give us a call. Have a great week and weekend.